All right. So glad you're joining me. So I thought today we would do a couple of things to make it a little bit more of a celebration, we'll make it a little bit more fun and uh, maybe give away some things. So in addition to playing some music and uh, we've got some of your requests already worked into the show, um, we'll also be giving away some homemade baklava and a cookbook that contains the very same recipe. Oh, look, ah, Brian brought some for me. <laughs> So, yes, you'll get a whole tray of this baklava. This is what we made for ourselves. We made a tray for you, uh, and that's uh, USA only. Uh, and uh, cookbooks, that's for, for any place. That's the Acoustic Chef. That's music and, uh, and recipes that go together. So that's uh, our, our big project. And then also some free lessons on my new True Fire channel. So what we're doing for the free lessons is, is the, the next five people who sign up on my True Fire channel or who upgrade on the True Fire channel will get a free private lesson. And that's something you can do anytime uh, during the program. So the first, first five will get it. So we'll uh, give you some updates as we go. But why don't I start by, by playing you a tune. And this is one that I wrote when I was in Estonia, ready to go to Finland on the ferry boat. And I thought of the rhythm, and I was so looking forward to that ferry boat ride, and finished writing it and ended up playing it on the ferry boat. So I call this one Ferry Boat Crossing. <laughs> big hand for Brian. This is Brian Allen who has put together the images and compiled those behind me. So, yeah, there he is. So Brian is here with us and uh, we'll uh, 
see from him a little bit more. Actually, we have a brand new thing from Brian. Nobody has seen this. I haven't even seen this uh, in its complete form. We thought we would invite you to take a little ride with us. And this is a tune, the first tune that I learned from Chet Atkins. Actually, I... Uh, when I first met him, I said, I told him, I, I learned this from your album, you know, note for, for note, and, and I played it like this. In this position, and he listened all the way through and uh, very politely said, oh, that's very nice, I play it like this, and he dropped it down to a drop G tuning, and he said, I play it with a capo on the second fret, so I, I played it entirely wrong. <laughs> and... Uh, so then when all of a sudden when he played it this this way all of a sudden it's a whole lot easier to play and it sounds a lot better too and if you want to i can teach this to you on my true fire channel so uh if there's links for it um the, that link there marielanderson.com slash now oh yes also down here so you can find a link to the channel uh you can also get there from uh quarantutor.com that'll get you there too so uh so anyway, here, here's uh, this uh, brand new version of Wheels. And I just might medley into a couple other things there. for our friends in Kentucky. That's right, this is the second tune I learned from Chet. Isn't that sweet? Hartford's ranch there. We had great picking parties out there.
Well, that was a little bit of our neighborhood there. Uh, so glad you joined us on this little ride. And this is a different instrument than I'm, uh, I'm used to playing. This uh, has uh, quite a story behind it, actually. It was built by David Taylor in East Tennessee. Uh, so if you like, later on I'll, I'll let you know a little bit about it. Oh, okay. We are getting some requests. All right. So very easy uh, how you can win the baklava is just send us an email, uh, muriel at murielanderson.com, and put in the title uh, what you would like, baklava uh, or acoustic chef. All right? And you can do one of each. And then... Uh, in the body, just put your address, because I have this all ready to mail out to you. And uh, Baklava is USA only, but the cookbook, we've got really good news. Uh, the hard copy just arrived um, in Europe. So uh, we've got, uh, in fact, if you're in Europe, uh, we're having a special free shipping for the Acoustic Chef book right now, as it just arrived. And uh, so that's, that's a brand new thing. We just put up uh, just yesterday, I think. And, uh, yeah, so uh, you can also find that uh, on my link, that um, murielanderson.com slash now, that links uh, to the Acoustic Chef cookbook there, so you can uh, check it out and, and see all about it. Um, and we've got, so uh, Pamela is going to choose a name from the ones that come from the, the cookbook and the baklava. And uh, towards the end of the show, she's going to choose it. You need not be present to win, so don't worry. Uh, if your address is there, we'll go ahead and, and ship it to you. And we'll announce the winners uh, in about an hour, I think, about that time. So it uh, gives you some time. So one, one entry per, per item. And for the free lesson, um, what we can do is the, just go to my TrueFire site. That's also linked. And if you join as a new member or upgrade... Uh, to uh, the, the next level uh, student, then you're eligible for a free private lesson. So happy to do that. I'm going to give away five. Okay, so five free private lessons. And uh, we had a request for night lights. So that's a tune here on the harp guitar. So this is a 20 string harp guitar uh, built by Mike Doolin. and a tune with some uh, very beautiful visuals that Brian put together called Night Lights. Now, this is one that I had recorded for the Nightlight Daylight CD, and it was recorded for full band. And so it has the, the, the basic accompaniment part that has lots of harmonics in it, and then has a melody on top that's played, and then a bass line. So I was trying to think, I wonder if I can play all three parts at the same time. So this is the new arrangement where I'm playing everyone's parts of Night Lights. Let's see, see how we do. <laughs>
Ah, oh, that's how I, thank you, Brian. That's how I uh, have gotten some of my better arrangements. I find parts that I write for, uh, or arrange for two or three instruments and then just try to figure out how to get them all together. Uh, basically try to find something that I think is impossible and then try to make it possible. <laughs> so uh, that's, the, that's the game plan. Yeah, sometimes works. Uh, a really cool tune that uh, that's on the Nightlight. No, it's on the Acoustic Chef, new Acoustic Chef CD. Uh, was uh, sung by some Tuvan throat singers who came through town, and I asked them, "Well, do you have a recipe that you could teach us? Because I'm putting together this cookbook." And they said, "Oh yes, we have this very famous recipe for these lamb dumplings." And so I said, "Well, fine. Just get me the ingredients." And so the first on the ingredient list was a live sheep. Now, this is really cooking from scratch, right? <laughs> so uh, I said, well, is ground lamb OK? They said, all right, that's fine. And then they, uh, they made it for me. We just put up a video, actually. Uh, it's on my YouTube channel with uh, them cooking and playing. And they do this incredible throat singing. Yes, on my Instagram as well. So you can you can hear it on my YouTube, uh, and you can actually hear a, a little bit of it on the uh, cookbook page there. And uh, I tried to do that throat singing, you know, to to do the their part, and I I just couldn't get it, you know. So I'm going to just do it instrumentally for you <laughs> instead of uh, trying to do that crazy throat singing where you're singing like two and three notes at a time from weird parts of your throat and whistly sounds. It's uh, just wild sounds. So, yeah, uh, you'll hear it on the Acoustic Chef CD. But uh, this is a one that I wrote in their style, and I call it Tuvan Horseman.
Oh, yeah. So the horse is a very important part of their culture. It's still uh, pretty much a nomadic culture. The, the main industry is uh, sh uh, shepherding. And uh, the horse is a very important part of their culture and their music. And so that's why I chose that sound of the trotting of a horse or the galloping of a horse uh, as the main rhythm for the tune. So a uh, fun project and great to work with Alash, the Tuvan throat singers. Uh, so I hope you get to hear them, uh, what they really do. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. So yeah, just uh, check out my YouTube channel. It's just my name after YouTube. Um, and I want to play a tune for you, uh, also from Acoustic Chef, that, you know, I worked a long time on it and I really like it, but I think I'm the only person who likes it. You know, I, I play it for... Uh, my neighbors and and they kind of say, oh, that's very nice, uh, you know. And <laughs> I get this sort of lukewarm Whoa. response, but you know, uh, I want to know what you think. Okay, so see see if you like it as well as I do. So, uh, so this is one that I wrote. It's very special because I wrote it for the baklava that I'm going to be giving away. Remember, okay, so write baklava in the title of your email. Then write your address in there. USA only for this one. And uh, just, yeah, and uh, only one per person. Uh, the, oh, email is muriel at murielanderson.com. Okay, so to write a tune, uh, f to go with this, I thought I would uh, choose something in a very classical style. I recorded it with string quartet. And then in the middle, it uh, goes to this seven, eight time kind of Greek thing. And I've got a bazooki player that joins me. And then it goes back to the box style, uh, very serene uh, classical style. And I call this J.S. Baklava. I know, I know. And I'm actually going to use music for this. So this is very classical and I'm reading it from the sheet music here in front of me. Yes, you'll see behind me as well. There it is. Okay. So this is J.S. Baklava.
Thank you. That was J.S. Baklava. <sighs> well, and now for something completely different. I think that uh, Mark Cass Stevens is, is watching out there, and he's a, a great composer, uh, guitar player here in Nashville. And he wrote a wonderful tune called All Thumbs. And I learned this from uh, Pepino D'Agostino in a hallway in California. And Pepino learned it from Chet Atkins, and Chet learned it from Mark. So uh, some time later when I went back and played it to Mark, he was quite amused at how much it had changed <laughs> over this little telephone game. So this is my version now of, of his tune, <laughs> or our version is, as it has developed over time. A uh, great tune called All Thumbs. And I asked Brian to just to take any of his images that he would like and put it behind this. It's uh, fantastic uh, photography. Yes. <laughs> All thumbs. <laughs> All thumbs. Big hand for Brian's artwork, uh, his, uh, well, photography, great photography, and uh, and also a big hand for Mark S. Stevens, a great composition. So thank you, Mark, for that. Yeah. <sighs> well, how about if we invite you to come with us to Hawaii? I tell you what, when we can travel again, this is top of my list, come back to Hawaii. And the main reason is because of the people there. And I thought that Hawaii was just one giant tourist trap at first, but then I found it just has this wonderful indigenous culture and warm, great people. And, and there's just a lot of genuine happiness you can find there and the lovely music that comes out of there. So I wrote a tune inspired by this called Hawaiian Lullaby. and about halfway through. Brian, do you want to join me about halfway through there? Just, yeah. So some of you may not know that Brian also plays a little harp guitar, which you'll see as, as we get into this. I'm dropping down to a drop C tuning here. Okay, and this is Hawaiian Lullaby.
yalani mapu maine la kamakani la ahe ahe yalani opu ikino opu mihana ike aloha Thank you, Brian, on the little harp guitar there. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and I call that a harp a So uh, nice to have him join join me on this. So that's a first. That's a first for him. Well, we have a lot of firsts happening uh, with the live streaming, and uh, I mean this whole new format is is new for us. And as you well know, that uh, concerts have been canceled. Uh, from now through uh, the end of my life <laughs> so far. I'm still waiting for the first confirmation. Normally I have a full tour schedule. And so this is how we are making ends meet. So uh, much appreciated if you can click on the, uh, the donation link. Uh, the tip jar is located there also at murielanderson.com slash now. Uh, if you look there, there's a place that says don donate tip jar, and uh, we sure appreciate that. That's how uh, we are making ends meet, and hopefully we're bringing a little something to your lives now, because we uh, definitely want to uh, en enrich your life in whatever way we can, even if it's just uh, with a pan of baklava uh, or an Acoustic Chef book. So hopefully uh, somebody will get, their, uh, get that extra little bit from this. So once again, uh, just send an email to uh, muriel at murielanderson.com, and then Pamela is going to choose a winner from that. So in the title, let us know if it's for the baklava or the Acoustic Chef book, and then put your address in there, and we'll mail that to you. And uh, also, if you're in Europe, um, uh, the you can still apply for the cookbook. We can't send baklava overseas, but uh, we can send the cookbook and uh, also free shipping. If you if you don't win the book t this time, we have now free shipping uh, in Europe, and you'll get a hardcover book. Yeah. And oh, let, let's let's show it to you here for just a minute. Um, so this is uh, it has a CD that goes with it, and this is the one I'll mail you. I'll put the CD in the little pocket in the inside cover for safekeeping. And uh, then, let's see, here is the baklava recipe, in case you're, oh, this way, in case you're interested. So uh, then uh, the stories and music behind each recipe. This is a quiche yin-yang dinner and dessert in the same quiche. Uh, so all, all sorts of fun things. And uh, all, th all the recipes... Uh, are things that you can't find on the internet. They're things that we learned from from people. Some some that we made up ourselves. And so, and um, it was uh, a real, uh, real 
project of, of love of of uh, of great food and with music to match each recipe so uh, so it was a also a, a wonderful challenge to me to uh, write and arrange tunes uh, to go with these tunes uh, these uh, recipes from all different countries yeah so that's acoustic chef and um, we had uh, another question. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And uh, an another thing for the free private lessons, uh, the next five people that sign up on my channel, um, and that's that's also linked to the same place, um, or you can go to quarantutor.com. That'll bring you right there. And then that uh, will, uh, if you are already a student and you're watching, if you upgrade just for this month, that'll also, uh, uh, it, then you can also get a, a free lesson. So the next five, they either upgrade or uh, or sign up. And uh, once you've signed up, um, we can we can look it up. Or if you want to just go ahead and send us an email, let, you know, let us know uh, you signed up. That'll save us some time. That'll be great to know. Uh, and also to know when uh, when we have all five players. So just send the same email, muriel at murielanderson.com. Okay, let's uh, do some more music. I had promised I would let you know about this instrument. Uh, so I'll play another tune on this one. So... Um, there's a, a little bit of a story behind this one. Uh, I was at a guitar show, and I walked past th this instrument, and and I looked at this, and I said, boy, that's the prettiest inlay I've ever seen on a guitar, this beautiful rose right there. And I asked the builder who was there if, if I could play it, and he said yes, and, and when I played it, you know, I said, this is the sound I've been searching for my whole life. This is the, this is my sound. And uh, I had no intention to buy a steel string guitar, especially a small body steel string like this. And, but I told him, just put a sold sign on it. That's, I, I just knew it was, it was mine. And, and I said, well, I don't know how I'm going to get it back to Tennessee. And he said, Oh, I live in Tennessee, and you may not remember, but I came to one of your workshops, and I was so inspired that I went home and I drew up the design for this guitar. So I had already committed to buy the, the guitar before I found out that it was made for me, and this was made by David Taylor, so brilliant uh, luthier in East Tennessee. So uh, I'd like to do a song by a very good friend of mine, Phil Keggy. So Phil and Bernadette have been great friends, uh, and they've been important friends at you know crucial times in my life. They've been there for me, and and uh, it's something that I really appreciate. And Phil is just a, uh, an open vessel to creativity. He writes some really beautiful melodies. So I'd like to play one of his melodies now. Uh, let me just tweak the tuning on this. This is called Tennessee Morning, and we'll show you some images from our beautiful home state.
Oh, thank you, Phil Keggy, for that beautiful song. Uh, that was Tennessee Morning. Tell people how to get on the email list. Okay, we have some questions. Uh, people want to know how to get on the email list. There's a couple different ways. Uh, write to me, Muriel, at murielanderson.com. You can also follow me on Instagram. And we also have, uh, 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 we're really getting a vibrant presence finally there on Instagram. And so, I'll, oh, here's a, a shout out too to Telemaster61. Yes, that's Brandon. So, oh, that, oh, okay. Oh, and Brandon, Brandon Dyke. So, uh, so thank you. Shout out to both of you. So, thanks for listening in and uh, joining us on, on all those formats. And uh, also, we got a, a note uh, coming in from Pam that uh, it, it is kind of an interesting time that we're seeing that we are sort of going back to the old days of. Uh, chamber music this is essentially a chamber music concert for you and uh with patrons that uh, that patronize uh the musicians rather than regular ticket prices and also uh, that's also you right so thank you so much and i appreciate your contributions coming in it's really great to see um and some people are actually writing uh, old-fashioned letters again and uh so pam uh, had remind me that uh the uh, Eclipse CD is also doubles as a greeting card, so uh, some people were saying that it's it's kind of appropriate for now. Uh, so if you want to say something having to do with the Eclipse, then uh, the CD is in in there on this side. That's the Eclipse, and then you can write your own uh, message on there, and it comes with an envelope, and you can send it. So the Eclipse CD is designed to be given away, and in fact mailed away. Um, and uh, so the uh, night lights is on there, view from space is on there, why worry, all, all sorts of uh, tunes that are somehow related to the, the eclipse. Uh, and um, let's see, one more thing, the, uh, somebody was asking about Travis picking, and um, I've got a little course on True Fire on Travis picking, and uh, in fact, uh, I use a thumb pick for that, and I haven't played with a thumb pick for a long time. But this is uh, this is live, right? Why don't we just just do this? Uh, let's see if my fingernails are smooth enough to do this. Yeah, they're they're not too bad. Okay, so I'm going to do a little Travis picking, and we have queued up a, a kind of a, a little history on on how I got started and and before. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we'll start off with uh, Bluebell, then we'll go into some other tunes uh, that were written by my other heroes, my other mentors uh, in the guitar world. So here, we're going to start off with a little uh, two-finger right hand thumb and, thumb and finger picking and move on from there. So, this is a little Travis picking. That's right, I did start young, maybe not that young. But then I heard the music of Doc Watson. It's called 
called Doc's Guitar. And I was hooked. mandolin teacher introduced me to his brother-in-law, Chet Atkins, who wrote this one. got to meet some of my mentors. That's Doc Watson. stuff. It was fun for me. I mean, playing with a thumb pick, it's a whole different sound, a whole different feel, and uh, it's, uh, you know, a little challenge, a little fun, and it's, it's, uh, that's what it's about. This is live music. All right. Cool. All right. So let's see. Um, we have a couple of requests here. Uh, we had a request for a tune in the style of Tierra Negra, so we won't do visuals with this, so this is a little spontaneous. Um, and uh, I'll tweak my fingernails again here. So this is where uh, this is where you can gossip when, we're, when I'm doing my nails. So with playing the steel string guitar, that wears away the fingernails. So that's why I don't use it as much on stage because it's uh, uh, the fingernails can only last so long when you're playing steel string guitar. And these are natural nails, so there's nothing, uh, no crazy glue or anything like that on them. So. Uh, which sound great when you're playing a nylon string, so that's, we have to have that nice and smooth. 
So thank you for joining in. And those of you who are just joining us, do send me an email, muriel at murielanderson.com. And uh, put on the in the title baklava or acoustic chef, or you can do one of each. And for both of those, put your address there, your mailing address, so that we can mail one to you if you're the chosen winner. And we'll have Pam choose those and uh, just a few more tunes. All right. <laughs> So this is one that I wrote in the style of Tierra Negra, and uh, they were a big influence. We recorded a New World Flamenco CD together and, and toured together, and um, finally wrote a tune uh, dedicated to them, and I, I call this one El Leon. <laughs>
Carlos El Leon. So thank you and uh, thank you, thank you, David. I know you had requested that. <laughs> so uh, among other people, actually, I had several requests for that. So uh, let's do a little tune. Uh, I don't know. Do you want the the story behind this or just uh, just the tune? Yeah? Story, definitely. Story. Okay, I'm hearing that. Uh, okay, real quick story. Um, I wrote this when I got stood up on a date. I know it wasn't Brian, it wasn't Brian, but I was actually in Paris at the time and I started playing this little melody and it started making me feel better. So it turned into this song, but it sounded more Brazilian than French. So it turned into Rio de Janeiro. Let's make this a little more. Okay. Said I'd love to go for a little rendezvous Thinking of the sweet hellos If I'd only known that I'd be all alone In Rio de Janeiro There's so many times that it's made me sad But I'm making up my mind That I won't let it last Cause it's not all that bad In Rio de Janeiro City lights are flashing in a syncopated fashion Soon you'll see me laughing And in the streets of people all are dancing to the samba In Rio de Janeiro You can't ever trust a man Who promises the moon, the beach and all its sand What's a girl to do to keep from being blue In Rio de Janeiro You 
go ahead and scat sing along with me here. change guitars here and while I'm at it uh, maybe I'll have a little baklava oh, well I have the, uh, the whole tray already boxed up here so ready to write your address right here your name and address if you haven't signed up for the baklava yet that's USA only sorry we can't send uh, send that internationally um, but uh, we'll do uh, maybe three more tunes and then we'll, we'll choose the winner so uh, just uh, one entry per person on the baklava. And, um, let's see. How about uh, Owl Song? That's one that has been requested a long time ago. I think John Knowles requested this one. And this was uh, brought to my attention because I wrote this actually on the original September 11th. I went for a walk right out there, right uh, out that window and up the hill and up to the forest. And there I heard two owls singing to each other. And the melody was so beautiful and so plaintive. And it seemed, they seemed to be singing what I was feeling at that time. So uh, I went home and I took that melody and put it on the guitar and then just added some bass notes and the song was just about done. So that's just about all it needed. And recorded this with a orchestra actually at, at one point in time. So, oh yes, this is the same song. I played this at Cedar Lake Woods and Gardens in Florida. And it was an outdoor concert and as I was playing this, uh, a barred owl answered me just the same way. So really cool. It's uh, right in time as well. <laughs> so let's see if you, if you recognize the owls here. And so in order to give the owls their full compensation, you know, their songwriting credit, uh, I then got the owl level, the barred owl level sponsorship at Radnor Lake State Park. So that's uh, their pay for their contribution to this song, Owl Song.
Thank you. That was Owl Song. Yes. <laughs> Hearing some owls singing. Well, uh, we had mentioned Tierra Negra earlier. And the first time that we had a chance to jam, uh, it was actually when I got to stop by at their house on my way to Holland when I was going there. And when I finally got on the train going back to Arnhem, uh, I realized that, uh, you know, I, I was already missing my new friends. And so I was uh, in, happy about the time we spent together, but still missing my new friends. And so just to indicate that little something missing, uh, I left a beat out of every other measure in the main theme. So <laughs> that's how... Uh, that's how it kind of came about, and uh, we'll invite you to join us on this train trip here. And uh, this is Train to Arnhem. And thank you all for your tips. There's four different ways that you can contribute there. So it's on either PayPal, uh, Venmo. Uh, you could uh, go to my website, and there's a place you can put in a credit card. Or you can just send a check the old-fashioned way by mail, and we've got an address there for you. Yeah, so... All those, uh, all those ways are there. It's uh, just click on the tip jar link there. That'll bring you right to the patron link, and uh, all those methods are there. So I very much appreciate your, your contributions here. And this is Train to Arnhem. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was trained to Arnhem. Uh, 
Thanks again for your contributions. And we've got one more tune, then we're going to do the drawing. So uh, uh, sign up for Acoustic Chef. And uh, also send me a, an email and let me know if uh, you are one of the winners of the uh, the free guitar lesson. So it'll just be the next five people who sign up uh, on my uh, True Fire channel. And that's uh, my new teaching channel. I've uh, got all sorts of stuff on there. Uh, a lot of free stuff, so you don't even have to... Uh, um, pay anything if you want just check out the free content if you want even more we've got uh, between 200 and 300 videos all already up and more all the time and also if there's anything you'd like to learn just send a text and uh, chances are I'll, I'll record that for you and uh, post it right there so very cool format that the true fire has and uh, it's we're getting a great response from that uh, students are really loving it and uh, we have special moments from all-star guitar nights and guest instructors and all sorts of interesting things uh, fun moments from the road so uh, a lot of different stuff in the new true fire channel so that's uh, that's all linked on there at the same place, uh, marylanderson.com slash now. Uh, and do send uh, send us an email. And uh, Oh, I've got a retune for this one. This is uh, one that was requested. There's a great harp guitar player in Quebec uh, named uh, Claude Laflemme, who has also a harp guitar with the 20 strings. Although his has one more uh, super treble than mine does. And so I found some interesting ways to play the, all the, the notes that weren't there. <laughs> so instead of playing just that note like this, uh, uh, I've got a, about a 50% chance of, of finding that exact halfway point and hitting the harmonic spot on that one, one place in the music. But it's a wonderful Beatles tune. And uh, this is Eleanor Rigby. So this is the uh, last official tune, but we may take a, a couple uh, requests or so after after this one, and we'll let you know the winners. Uh, Pam is going to choose those and uh, text those into Brian as we speak.
Oh, thanks so much for tuning in. Thank you for your contributions as well. And, uh, oh, I would like to invite you to my birthday party. Uh, so uh, glad I didn't forget that. All right, that's important. It's, it's one of those big birthdays with a big zero at the end of it. And so that's on June 17th, and it'll be on my YouTube channel. So youtube.com slash Muriel Anderson will get you there. So put that on your calendar. It'll be 8 p.m. Eastern time. 7 p.m. Central Time, and uh, you'll negotiate that for your time zone. Uh, so I hope you join me there. So we may even have some birthday cake. Hmm, we'll see. All right, well, let's see. Uh, we have winners yet, Brian? Okay. On the book? The book. So this is the Acoustic Chef. Robert Rochus. Robert Rochus. Okay, congratulations, Robert. We're going to uh, address this to you. And uh, if you didn't get it, you can uh, get it easily. Uh, go to my website and just uh, click on the cookbook tab. It says Acoustic Chef up on top. That'll bring you to it. Uh, also, the same link has a, has a link to, to the Acoustic Chef, so you can check out the recipes and order one if you'd like. So thanks so much, and congratulations. And then for... Baklava. Okay, I'm going to get my pen ready here to write the name on this. Okay, so this First is name Lisa. Lisa. Last name Luz. L O O S. L O O S. Lisa. Lisa Luz. Okay, we'll finish the writing the address down there for you, but this is will be on its way to you tomorrow. And by the way, they keep furry well, and uh, you can even put them in the freezer if you want to wait until you have company. Uh, so they keep for a long time. Uh, if you want to make your own, uh, they're in the Acoustic Chef book. So, uh, And I also just put up a, a video that gives most of the instructions how you make it. So that's on my YouTube channel. Uh, so check that out, and uh, that, hopefully that'll give you a little hope in making your own baklava. All right. I'll do a play along with, uh, with Mr. Bourdain. Okay. Well, all right, let's finish off with one that uh, everyone can join me on. Yeah, Brian has got the chords for it, so uh, can you post the chords behind? So then uh, everyone who has guitars, I know a lot of you do, all the guitar owners there, just pull them out of your cases. Let me see if mine is in tune. Yeah, pretty close. Okay, so this will be in the key of C. I'll try to get out of the way of the chords as we get to, to later on in the in the piece. I have to remember to do this, <laughs> right? So uh, if I forget, you're on your own there. So so join me with this. It's just a little thing in three four time. You can join me, and uh, you could finger pick, you can strum, you can do whatever you like. So let's uh, finish off with this. And I wanted to also thank Sally Sparks for doing this wonderful thing for us, uh, giving us this platform to do these concerts and all of her sponsors. I'm sure she, she listed them all. Um, so uh, that's you know, really great how the community has come together. And we especially uh, want to thank Sally and Deb for uh, taking care of the, the tech uh, part of this and getting us all up and running. So uh, let's give them a, a big hand. Hey. All right. And uh, check out Sally's other things on the Keep Music Live project and ch catch up with me again on my birthday, June 17th, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Time on my YouTube channel. Oh, yes, there it is. Thanks, Missy. June 17th. Yes. <laughs> It is Bunker Hill Day, true. Okay, here we go. I'm just giving you a little extra time to get your guitars in hand and join me on a little Mr. Bojangles to finish off this little live stream concert. Thanks so much.
may change the little I'll play the chords now. You solo over this. end on this. Thank you so much, and thank you, Chad Atkins, for teaching me that tune, and especially that little ending lick. That started my whole venture into playing with harmonics. And that's another story. That's a story for next time. So thanks again, and thank you, Sally. And uh, we'll see you next time around. Uh, drop me a note, muriel at murielanderson.com. Uh, and so let's see, we, we'll, we'll look up the, uh, the five winners of the, uh, the, the free lesson when we get onto our uh, True Fire page. So uh, you go ahead and sign up. There, there may still be an opening. So we haven't counted to see if we got five yet. So there may still be an opening uh, for you if you'd like a free private lesson uh, on that True Fire page. So that's True Fire slash H2495 in case you want an exact link. Thanks much, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>